the flour, which is, goes into the actually minsa, and then the lard goes in there. Okay. And, and lard is That's just pure, pure pork fat, isn't it? Just pure pork fat, yeah. And it's uh, also like it's a double zero flour eh? yeah. we're using for that. And the double zero is that, is that the finest, Giorgio? Yeah. Okay, the dough will come together to a, a very sort of soft stage like this. Okay? As you can see, it's just kind of like, it's like almost, a cream. It's like, it's not very soft. Okay, this will allow you to do is that when you finish this, you buzz it like that. What you're going to do, you're going to get a little bit of the zest of lemon in there in it. But not, not too much, don't, you know. Don't kill the, the, the No, don't kill the flavour with yeah. that. Give it another little buzz. This is ready and it can go right like that into the fridge. Okay. Okay? And uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do is then we have something we have already cooled down. And so that's the actually consistency that he has when it's cooled down completely. Okay? We're going to pull it a little bit. Using less flour than you can. If you start to stick, First of all, you, it has to be nice and cold plates, and it has to be kind of like cold working area where you're doing it. As you can see, the dough is quite easy, is, uh, contrary to every other dough, it's very, very easy because mm. of the high continents of fat. It's very, very easy <coughs> to actually pull, okay? So it's not, it's not a big deal to take as thin as you can. Don't go too thin, don't go under the thickness of a pound. The pecorino fresco, which is, you know, it's, it's the pecorino just made practically before, it, as soon as it gets to the shop. It's very easy because, as you can see, it's so soft. You can get these everywhere now. There is usually there will be some different type of pecorino on the shelf, and this would be the one that is really like the fresher one that you got. So you make balls like that. I prepared a couple of them. Let's say I'll put them down here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, then I have another little bit of pasta that I already poured here. Uh, Giorgio, if you're cooking this for a vegetarian, what would you substitute the pork fat with? No, I'm just vegetarian, just, just have to eat something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't you do this dough without the fat, you know, it's really like... Will, it, a, will it change the flavour much though? I, mean. I think so, enormously, enormously. I mean, you could substitute it with some butter, but then, you know... Yeah, yeah. But it would I change the texture of I, the... I, the I must admit that I have never, never, never tried to do it yeah, with, yeah. with butter. So here we are, we've got the two sheets of pasta, they have the same thickness. Gently when you're working it. It hasn't got too much flexibility, this pasta. And then you push your bowls down, like that. And then we're gonna go for a cut, okay? And with this big ring, you cut. And with the smaller ring, we're gonna cut them on the other side, then if fixing the actually corner of it. And that helps yeah. to seal them. Yeah, to seal them. The whole idea is really to have a raviolo that is completely sealed. God, I find it difficult to pick them up. Yeah, they're yeah? incredibly and delicate, aren't they? Yeah, they are very delicate. And the idea is then you have to go pretty fast. So don't be bothered if, if it's not perfect on the outside. The idea is then the part, the double. So here you got one layer of pasta. You so the two and the double, they squeeze together well, so they get the same fix, so they cooked, okay?